I usually have this long-winded speech of where we're at and what we're doing for the source, but let's just get right down to it. St. Catharines Rotary Ribbon Fest, Montebello Park, smells amazing, let's get to work. Welcome to Rotary Ribbon Fest. Ribfest is such a, a, a unique Civic Day, long weekend tradition here in St. Catharines. Tell me what's happening here, bands, ribbers, all that stuff. Yeah, sure. So we have our five ribbers. They're already set up and, and cooking. We got some people eating some ribs right now, which is great. Um, we have uh, Camp 31, Uncle Sam's, Bone Daddy, Billy Bones. Um, they're all ready to go here. So, so Sorry, Silver Bullet is the other one. Um, and then uh, we've got some Bloomin' Onions, some French fries, there's lemonade. Uh, we have a full schedule of bands going over the weekend. Aside from the food and the music, there's other family-friendly, um, I see some pop-ups, that kind of stuff. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, sure. So Niagara Inflatables is here. Uh, they have a bunch of really cool things things set up their activations they're charging $20 for a play all day wristband there so yeah so the rivers do um, they pay rotary to be here in the park so we do get some that um, revenue from that but uh, the most of our revenue is is raised through um, beer sales actually so uh, we try to break even we like to open the doors with a break even and then everything that's sold from there on out is, is profit um, last year we made $91,000 at this event we're hoping to make around the same amount so that money all goes back to the community with really local organizations that are in, in need Okay, Eric, now I see a, a lot of trophies out there. That means your ribs are pretty good. Is that what I'm kind of gathering? Yeah, you could say that. Uh, we've been doing this for around 30 years now. Um, it came up from Michigan, actually. That's where our taste is originated from. And then uh, we're based in Fort Erie, actually. Uh, so we're uh, Niagara locals, and uh, yeah, we love to barbecue. What makes your, what, what sets apart your ribs? Uh, well, it's actually um, our go-to. It's called uh, Peace Love and Ribs. I think we put a lot of love into our ribs and when we're cooking. And uh, honestly, it's our staff. We uh, pride ourselves um, in being a team, right? And uh, relying on each other. And yeah, we just have a lot of time and a lot of love in all of our food. Okay, we're walking through the rib fest and we met Cody from Bone Daddy's. Cody, how's the, uh, the ribbing going today? Well, it's going good. We uh, got our pork butts and everything cooked overnight, and we had ribs in this morning cooking for a few hours. Uh, hoping for the rain to stop soon and get a good turnout. Are you anticipating a big rush today? I'm hoping to have a good dinner rush tonight. Uh, I don't think there'll be too much this afternoon with the weather. But. Now, your team here just said something. I, I couldn't grasp what they said, but can you give me a little bit of a repeat of what they said? You got a team here, Cody. It's a great team. All right. Now tell me about the process of getting the ribs, smoking them overnight, and getting the sauce on them and delivering them to the customer. Uh, the ribs get smoked for four hours. Um, we use cherry wood. Um, once they come out of the smoker, they'll go on the grill. They get uh, sauce put on them on the grill, and then get served to the customer. Now somebody, I got a little, I got a little, a little treat here, here, a little treat. So now do me a favor. Yeah. You hold that microphone, okay? Now. You swear by these ribs, right? Oh, they're you the swear best. By them. Why are they the best? Well, because we made them. Because you made them. All right. So let me see there. Okay, we'll try in here. Okay. Yeah, Cody, you're onto something there, bud. You're onto something, bud. Now, tell me about the sauce. It's a little smoky, sweet. What? What is it? A little smoky. A um, little uh, hint of sweetness. A little apple in there. Are there any napkins? And you can always donate to Rotary uh, aside from the Rib Fest, is that right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. On If you go to the St. Catharines Rib Fest uh, website, there's a spot there to donate. If you just want to donate money to the club, we're always happy to take that. Um, the, new this year as well, we're running a Cash for Community 50-50 uh, draw, which you also can find on the website, and we're selling tickets in the park for that as well. Is there there's a lot of people in blue shirts. Can you speak to that? Yeah, so this event is all 100% volunteer run. Um, we certainly can do it without the help of volunteers. We have many road from our club that are here. Lots of them bring their friends and their families. I mean, you'll see my daughter here pretty much all weekend. I don't know if she's voluntold or not, but she's, you know, um, certainly that as some community groups that we've donated money to throughout the year. They'll show up and bring some people to help out. Um, but yeah, it's 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 hundreds and hundreds of volunteers, and we, we just, we literally couldn't run this event without that. Did your daughter bring you some dry socks? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Like I said in the beginning, let's get right down to business. Montebello Park, the St. Catharines Rotary Rib Fest. Come out and support Rotary and have some finger-licking good ribs. In St. Catharines for the Source, I'm Anthony Luongo.